very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking it's really worth to mention that the last week has been tough on everyone due to the coronavirus news and updates happening all over the globe uh, still we were able to deliver an outstanding amount of eight, between 875 to 1075 pips of net profit delivered to the members of extreme trader premium group no one can blame us to be really happy and proud of our results um, knowing that the last week was very tough and hard on other signals providers now if you don't want to take my word for it take it from the members who have been there for a long time this guy here he's showing us his screenshot and he is really happy about the results look at this guy he's saying here that best week so far and I totally agree with him it was really one of the best weeks so far why because the market was in very much high volatility and we were able to reach our targets very soon I mean we were just sending the signals uh, and in just less than an hour it is already reaching take profit 3 with more than 100 pips of profit as you can see right here um, I'm really happy to see these uh, positive feedbacks from the members it is showing that we are doing really very good job and the clients in the group are really happy and uh, grateful to be with us experiencing the extreme trader premium group signals so um, it is really uh, good it was really good week and we are expecting more good weeks to come uh, due to the high volatility market so if you wish to join the extreme trader premium signals group please don't hesitate to contact Angela you can find her contact details below in the description below this video contact her today and hopefully we will see you guys there very soon so let's start right now with the weekly analysis and before we start I wanted to share with you that the last week I did not upload any video including the midweek analysis video because I had some serious issue with my computer actually what happened is um, I got the drive C wiped out in my computer and I have lost uh, the Windows system and I lost of course all the softwares that I was using for the video I lost uh, the recording software Bandicam I lost Photoshop I lost uh, Filmora Wondershare I lost so many things even this epic pin the tool I'm using to draw on the screen you can see right now is different version from the one I was using in the past and right now I am using Windows 10 which I really hate so much I mean I really don't want to use it at all uh, I'm just forced to do that because I cannot find the, or actually I thought it's time to move from Windows 7 so as you can see that was the reason why I did not upload any video last week uh, hopefully this week I will upload more videos and we will also uh, witness more videos uh, of live trading using the one minute scalping on gold anyway going to the weekly analysis right now what we are seeing on the EURUSD uh, the EURUSD has dropped in the last week for more than in total of uh, more than 600 pips and I don't th I don't think it's gonna uh, reverse at all or actually it's, it's not gonna change the direction uh, the EURUSD is not going up at all what I'm thinking is that the EURUSD might actually make a small bounce to hit the previous resistance level right here and then it's gonna continue falling all the way until this support level right here therefore and again we are on the weekly candles going to the daily candles right now we can see that the retest has already happened look at this look at this candle here this long wick here indicating that this support level has already been tested uh, has already been tested and now our only hope that we can see another attempt on the candle uh, to hit that previous resistance because this price action here this one usually this price action indicating a possibility of a bullish reversal so therefore we can't expect on Monday opening that the market actually might open with a big gap and I believe and actually I'm hoping so that the candles uh, is gonna reach this uh, previous resistance level exactly right here with the gap of almost 100 pips hopefully it's gonna happening like that so this be, uh, previous resistance is gonna be hidden again and gonna be retested let me just be sure again of the levels please I just want to be sure that I'm giving you the right level to start shorting the euro USD again exactly right here let's go back to the daily candles exactly right here yes so that is where we want to start shorting the euro USD we can start sell on the level 1 1.08213 oh one second guys I just didn't uh, adjust this thing yet. Um, 
increase the font size and okay like that better so we can start shorting the euro usd right here and go back to the uh, weekly candles we can expect from the market to actually continue falling all the way yeah don't be surprised if the market continued to fall all the way until hitting this previous support level it can fall actually to more than 360 uh, pips uh, it's very possible right now with all the news about the coronavirus and this is your take profit level and is on 1.04456 so hopefully this is what will gonna happen on the euro usd and let me just remind you that if you see the trade going against you if it does then there is a, a chance that it might reverse actually right here exactly right here so you can expect for the trade to go against you for almost 40 pips so be, be sure you are entering with a reasonable amount of lot size don't enter with big lots and expect for the market to go a little bit more against you then it's gonna be really great to start shorting the euro usd again let's start now with the pound usd so the pound usd has witnessed really major drop that has never happened in the past it dropped for more than a thousand almost for a thousand pips actually it has reached a thousand pips of uh, drop and then closed with almost 800 pips i mean that is a huge huge drop for the pound usd and we need to go along with this market so what we are going to do is we are going to short the pound usd and let me just select for you the perfect level to start shorting the pair this is again weekly candles so let's go back to the daily candles we can see that the pair has already made the reversal here so what i'm expecting again that the market on monday op monday opening is gonna monday morning sorry uh, is gonna make an opening with a, a huge gap in the market and i think this resistance this previous support here and th this previous support uh, must be reached by the market i mean the market most likely will open with the gap and it's gonna hit this previous uh, support level to create a new resistance level and then we can start shorting the pound usd again don't worry i know it's gonna be long time but however that is your best entry for the pound usd look at this strong support level right here we're having therefore most likely this support here is gonna be the new resistance once you see the candle hitting the same level here you can start shorting the pair and expect really some good profits so let me just uh, write for you that the level we can start shorting the pound usd we can start shorting on 1.0 sorry 1.255 and let's see where we can expect from the market to continue falling uh, this is really major drop on the pound usd i it didn't reach this uh, level since ever therefore what we can expect right now is that the market is gonna close all the way until the lowest level has been ever reached on the pound usd so we can look for almost 565 pips hopefully is gonna be in profit so this is your tech profit level on 1.14207 14207 correct so hopefully this, this is what will gonna happen and hopefully we are gonna get out from this trade with really some good profits let's check right now the AUD USD again what we can see on the uh, AUD USD here let me just get rid of all of that now what we can see on the AUD USD it has reached this previous resistance level right here we can see it has reached this resistance level and then reversed immediately uh, however I don't think this reverse is gonna keep its position for a long time again the same thing what will happen on the pound AU, uh, pound USD is gonna also affect being affected on AUD USD so therefore let me just tell you something here that we can expect from the candles to also open with the gap on Monday up Monday morning and I believe it's gonna hit this previous support level and the market is also gonna be good for the short right on this previous support level expecting from it to go all the way down to the same level of the lowest uh, support point here so therefore this is our entry for the AUD USD and this is our tech profit level we can look for more than 500 pips of profit yes the market is uh, actually heading down in my opinion all the pairs are going down against USD uh, we can start shorting 
on the level 0 0.60687 and keep your trade running all the way until it hit this, uh, the lowest level of the support here at the, uh, at the tail so this is your take profit level on 0 0.55194 Actually, the coronavirus news is really affecting the market so badly. Um, most of the pairs are falling, right? As you can see here, the dollar is rising. Uh, the gold also, I think, is uh, falling. So we have to be really careful when we are trading because the market, again, as I'm telling you, is in much, much high volatility. So going to the USD CAD, we can see the rise of the dollar here against all the pairs. Uh, therefore, what we can look for, uh, the USD CAD, is hoping for another attempt let me just show you on the weekly candles what we are seeing here on the weekly candles is a previous resistance that has been breaking out like that so this is the resistance level as we can see here and right here and also right here all of these resistance levels has been breaking out again by this bullish breakout candle and we cannot expect at all from the market to continue falling actually i'm thinking i'm assuming that the market is gonna continue rising more up after this pullback and it's gonna go all the way until it hit the top of the resistance level right here therefore on the on the weekly candles we can see that the usd cad is gonna make attempt here to retest this resistance level look at this resistance level right here of course these are weekly candles therefore each candle representing a huge support and resistance or actually a key support and resistance level so what we are looking sorry for that the recording software has stopped anyway let me just continue that this week here is representing a whole resistance by itself therefore this is gonna be where we want to start buying the pair again and we can see that it was here also a strong resistance so going to the four hour chart what i'm expecting from the, mar um, the market on monday opening or monday morning why i keep confusing between monday morning and opening i don't know <laughs> it's happening anyway uh let me just pick for you the exactly best level to start buying the pair is actually right here and please please be careful the usd cad is very sensitive right now one small reversal against our direction can cost for a, can, can, might cost us a lot of pips as you can see here so i think this is here let me just be sure just be sure be sure um one second guys i just want to be very sure that what i'm sending to you is the best signals possible i'm just going to the left and i want to see exactly right here yes like that and more to the left just to be sure all right anyway this is uh, this i'm satisfied with this one so expect from the market on monday morning to open with the gap and i believe it's gonna happen right here somewhere therefore we can start buying the pair right away once it reach this previous resistance level therefore our best shot to start buying the pair is gonna be here on 1.40207 and we can keep the thread running all the way until it hit this previous resistance right here that's a lot of pips we're talking about we're talking about more than 500 pips hopefully gonna be in profit uh, take profit on 1.45360 Hopefully that's what will gonna happen and we're gonna make some good profits out of this pair Let's go right now to the USD GPY which is which is actually very similar to what's happening on the USD CAD Actually this level of the sub of the support was the best to enter with the buy order as you can see As you can see we have in here a support level which was a very strong resistance in the past and also it was uh, a strong support level here also uh, we can see that the candle has already made the attempt here and closed with like this candle and this price action as i said indicating a bearish reversal therefore very similar to, similar to the usd cad we can expect from the market to actually open on monday with a gap here and again i'm expecting to, to uh, for it to happen here somewhere therefore what we can look for now is the buy order and i believe it's gonna be best thing to start buying the pair right here like that so we can expect from the market to open right here somewhere 
and then we can start buying the USDGPY right here let me just be sure uh, we can start buying the USDGPY on 109.524 actually you know something I might change my mind about the tech profit levels I mean 500 pips of profit uh, in two days or three days is maybe dangerous therefore we want to just scalp the market so what I'm going to do I'm going to do is changing the tech profit level I will just make it here at the nearest resistance so therefore oh my god 100 pips yeah that's maybe a lot anyway that's better than the other one so take profit level on 110.684 now what I'm just thinking here that on Monday and Tuesday uh, we can expect from the market to actually make the pullback here as I said to hit this previous uh, support level and then after hitting this support level is gonna continue to rise more up here hitting this previous resistance level again most likely what will gonna happen is that the pair is gonna break out of this resistance and gonna continue going all the way up to hit this previous resistance level right here the market is going up the USD GPY is going up in my opinion I don't see it going down at all actually if you want my honest opinion I believe that on Monday it might actually open with the gap and continue rising after this resistance we are just hoping that the gap is gonna happen on the support level so we can start buying the pair if you see the gap open below this resistance or at the resistance here please don't buy the pair because a small reversal can cost you a lot of pips so please avoid buying at the resistance levels right, uh, right now be sure you are buying the pair at the best level possible of a support or a previous resistance in other words if we see the pair opened above this resistance level then wait for the pullback so you can start buying the pair again once this uh, previous resistance becomes the new support then we can start buying the pair again but don't do the opposite don't start to buying the pair on the resistance or below the resistance you are putting yourself on losing a lot of pips and money if you do so so let's right now go to the USD GPY sorry USD CHF I'm sorry USD CHF as we can see very similar to the USD GPY and the USD CAD we can see that the pair has reached this previous resistance uh, support level and then reverse indeed it's very similar what's happening on the other pairs so the signal also is very similar as I said this price action indicating a bearish reversal therefore <clears throat> we can, we, what we can hope for is another attempt on the support level the same level here then we can start buying the pair so without making long story let's just make it uh, the buy order on 0 0.97514 and I'm expecting from the market to actually continue rising all the way up until it hit this previous resistance level right here so we can expect the tech profit level on 1.00090 we can expect from the candles to reach uh, almost 262 pips of profit hopefully it's gonna be in good profit and we're gonna get them get them all last is gold as I said before the, the gold is gonna fall down we can see that the gold has reached this previous support level right here and now it's making a small reversal I don't think the gold is gonna keep this position for a long time the gold seems to be falling now after uh, the news about the coronavirus so therefore actually to be honest with you this was the best level of the resistance we were planning to start shorting the pair we can re see that it has already reached this level of the resistance and of course again we are now on daily candles so go back to the four hour chart we can see that we already have on the four hour chart two attempts of the resistance right on the 1515 therefore our only hope of good uh, entry is to wait for the pair to rise up again here making a third attempt of the pair uh, of the resistance sorry and then we're gonna start shorting the gold please please be sure you are using very small lot size when you are selling the gold don't ever get greedy one small reversal can cost you a lot of pips my friends so let me just be sure that I'm selecting for you the best level to start shorting the gold again and if I'm not mistaken it is exactly right here perfect yes indeed exactly 
on the top of the resistance level so we can expect from the monday morning to open with a gap and hopefully it's gonna happen somewhere here therefore we can start shorting the gold again on 1516.52 and to be honest with you i think the gold is gonna continue falling however let's just set our take profit level to be on the very same level of the support here as i'm showing so not being greedy at all we can start um, oh sorry we can close the trade hopefully hopefully with a profit on the level 1452.41 so i really hope it's gonna be profitable and very good week for everyone please be careful my guys um, the market is moving in very much high volatility and if i see the market monday opening gonna open with a huge gaps um breaking out from all the targets level and uh uh, entry levels I have sent in this video then I will just make a new record a new uh, weekly analysis video on uh, Monday afternoon therefore again hopefully this is gonna be very profitable and good week for everyone and in the end I would like to thank you for watching